Let me ask you this. Why do you think that Chicago has become America's largest outdoor shooting range? So Mississippi, Louisiana, and Missouri actually have higher firearm death rates. Um, obviously, there's certain... What about Chicago? So I don't live in Chicago. It's not my primary area of research. Hey, guys, Max here. And I'm wearing this George Santos fleece because it is freezing in New York. And what you just saw was Senator John Kennedy once again showing off his ability to be completely confident about being completely wrong. This time, Kennedy was taking on gun violence in America. And he wants you to believe that Chicago is the most dangerous place in the country. Do you think it's because of a finite group of criminals who have raptured as long as King Kong's arm. Except the truth is, it isn't even close. Kennedy's biggest enemy has always been someone who has the slightest idea what they're talking about. No disrespect, Doc, but that sounds a lot like word salad to me. And this time, Kennedy definitely drew the short straw because he was talking to issue expert Dr. Megan Ranney of the Yale School of Public Health. But having experts on hand to debunk their nonsense didn't stop Republicans from trying to convince each other that there's no such thing as a gun violence crisis. Don't believe me? Fine, take it from Senator and all-around scumbag Ted Cruz. And by the way, they call it a public health crisis because they want to put supposed experts in charge of disarming you. The Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights is not a public health crisis. What is a public health crisis is the crime rates that are skyrocketing because Democrats keep letting murderers and violent criminals out of jail. Well, that's a funny loop-de-loop -loop Ted Cruz just pulled, because one of his main reasons for claiming there's no such thing as gun violence is that there's a lack of federal studies into gun violence. And yeah, that's absolutely correct. But the only reason that's true is because Republicans continue to make it true. For years, Republicans have blocked any government studies into gun violence, just like they've banned efforts to digitize gun records, just like they've banned any efforts to federally fund university gun research conducted by independent experts. Republicans know that the more data Americans have on gun violence, the more likely they are to view it as a major problem, and to view Republicans as big contributors to that national disaster. For the GOP, keeping real data about gun violence out of Americans' hands is a top priority. The debate around gun violence has become so twisted that sometimes Republican pundits just end up saying both positions at the same time. That was certainly the case when Newsmax's Eric Bowling made this incomprehensible claim about America's gun violence epidemic. I am so happy, Geraldo, that you said it that way, because I was fully expecting you to say, well, some additional gun control measures will be good for a place like Albuquerque or wherever, because I think we've had this discussion before. I'm glad you didn't go there, because all, we, you and I both know, guns kill a lot of people, but guns actually kill zero. Man, not even Geraldo is buying what Eric Bowling is selling, and that guy will literally believe anything. The GOP talking points on gun violence are now so completely hollow, they aren't even fooling the guy who made his name out of being tricked. But hey, let's set Geraldo aside and get back to guns, because Fox News anchor Martha McCallum caused a bit of a stir when she dared to say that Republicans shouldn't be allowed to build bombs at home. If your child or your family member, she's 20 years old is upstairs building a bomb in their bedroom nothing you can do about it i mean you can't the parents have to do something about it we can't stop these people i can't get into millions of houses if if my young my 28 year old is building a bomb upstairs i'm going to call the police and say there's something going on with my there's also no mental institutions we've talked about this a lot People who are emotionally disturbed, their families have such little recourse. I remember the, the mother of the Sandy Hook shooter tried to get him committed, essentially, to a mental institution. Andrew Lanza. You know what? Credit to young Brian Kilmeade for just throwing his hands up and saying, hey, people are going to build bombs. What are we going to do? Stop them? Nothing you can do about it. I mean, you can't, the parents have to do something about it. We can't stop these people. But if you're keeping track, this is actually the first time since 2019 that a Fox anchor has aired a segment where she was openly critical about gun laws. That's a long time. The situation we face in this country is not normal. In fact, it isn't even close to being duplicated anywhere else in the world. Our solution of doing absolutely nothing hasn't helped. And things are getting so bad, even Fox News has to admit that maybe the gun crisis is actually 
actually real. Voters will have yet another chance to send a message to Republicans when they head to the polls next year. With support for gun reform policies now at historic highs, the right is facing its strongest political headwind on guns in a generation. Only the voters have the power to stop our constant national bleeding. It'll be up to Democrats to mobilize them. And if you thought that was wild, check out this video. Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president. What does that mean to you? Jesus died on a cross to forgive us for all our sins. And as always, leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.